What's up everybody, Trevor here again. It is August 15th, 2016, coming to you from Seattle, Washington once again. It's been about uh, two weeks since my Norway update, and I actually filmed another video unpacking all of my gear from my trip, but I managed to lose the memory card that I stored it on, so that one's not going to get uploaded. So I've got another video for you guys. I'm going to talk about New Orleans, uh, Los Angeles, talk about some of my most used gear of my trip, and some of the stuff coming up in the future that I'm working on. So let's start with New Orleans and LA. Uh, I left Oslo on July 14th, caught a flight direct to JFK, spent I think eight hours overnight in the JFK airport before I flew to Dallas. Unfortunately, there was a big storm in Dallas and my flight got redirected to San Antonio and we had to sit there on the tarmac for like three hours, which was long enough that I missed my connecting flight. So, didn't make it to New Orleans on time, but I did spend the night in Dallas and was able to meet up with some family friends that lived there, uh, went and stayed at their house, had dinner, a few drinks, caught up on the old times. So that was nice. I uh, did catch the flight the next day, same time, to uh, New Orleans and met up with my friend Jessica, who I used to work with in Pullman, Washington. So it was good seeing her. Uh, I got to play with her cat, Khaleesi, who is extremely vicious to say the least. I think I'm all healed up now but uh, I was sporting quite a few battle wounds after three days. So we went out a few times, drinks, uh, got some food and then I moved over to my buddy Ian's place who also lives in New Orleans. He worked with us, me and Jess in Pullman, same place. So met Ian and his roommates and got to know them a little bit and we went out and had a few fun nights out on the town. Uh, had some amazing food in New Orleans. I think my number one dish was fried chicken and grits with bacon and eggs. That was amazing. But New Orleans is a pretty cool city. I did a little bit of longboarding uh, one day and I also went and checked out the World War II Museum there in downtown. Giant museum, a lot of cool exhibits. Uh, definitely go check out the Tom Hanks narrated film, Beyond All Boundaries. It's like a 4D film about the World War II and what all happened there. So that was more or less New Orleans. Uh, from there I caught a flight to Los Angeles and met up with my buddy Davo, who I went to college with. So we had a lot of fun with him, hung out drinking, playing video games, catching up on old times. Uh, one day we did take our long boards and we skated about 17 miles up from Redondo Beach to Santa Monica Pier. So that was nice to see the coast, the water, get a little bit of sun, and put my longboard to use one more time before I had to pack it up for this trip home. But uh, it's great seeing Davo from there. I got a flight to Seattle on the 30th of July, and here I am now. So that about wraps up NOLA and LA. So let's talk about gear and what I used on the trip, because, well, what you leave with on a big trip like this isn't necessarily what you're going to come back with. You're going to lose a few things on the way, maybe by choice or by circumstance. And you're probably going to pick up a few things along the way. Some souvenirs, odds and ends. Yeah. So we'll start with my backpack. This is an Osprey 4.70 liter travel pack. This thing was amazing. Held up super well, really durable material. Uh, the straps pack in to this back panel so they don't have to worry about them when it's going through the airport and baggage claim. Um, the only major damage I have to report is this hole right here in the side. So uh, my tripod was in this bag and I found out in Milan that I can strap my longboard to the bag and then pull my bag and my longboard together. So while I was doing that, the bag tipped over and one of those hard edges of the tripod actually just kind of ground a hole right through the bag. But whatever this hexagonal pattern material is, it is extremely durable. Uh, this tear has not gotten any bigger even though it's only, what, two inches maybe from the handle. So really good stuff. Other thing I got to mention is these zippers are next level strong. I have wrenched on these so hard so many times trying to pack this bag full of stuff and they 
uh, are no worse for wear. So, Osprey makes some great stuff. Definitely check it out if you're looking in for a new backpack. So some of the stuff in this bag that was pretty important. Um, these are Eagle Creek packet sacks or travel organizers. These were so useful in helping me stay organized, knowing where stuff was without having to dig through everything in my bag. So what I would do is I'd keep pants and shorts in green, shirts in blue, and shorts, not shorts, underwear and socks in white. So I'm, if I needed a shirt to go out, if I needed a clean pair of underwear, I know exactly which bag to go into. Uh, once I started getting some dirty clothes uh, piled up, the white would always become my dirty clothes organizer or bag, and I would transfer my socks and underwear to other ones and go with that until I had to do some laundry. So definitely get some packet sacks or some kind of organizer for a long trip. They will definitely be worth it. One other piece of gear, or two more from Eagle Creek, are these compression sacks. And basically stuff all your stuff in here zip them closed and then you can push out all the air to save some space. Um, they held up pretty well. They still work. Uh, my only complaint is these yellow t zipper tabs can pop off pretty easily. So if you lose this, the bag's <laughs> useless. So I managed to find them every time they popped off and they're pretty easy to pop back on. So I think they were worth the investment. I don't think all of my stuff would have fit in my bag without them, and it also helped keep just stuff clean and more or less waterproof, even though my stuff didn't get too wet. The last thing in here worth mentioning, uh, I picked up some boots in Germany, because I kind of realized that going to festivals in Scandinavia and hiking, I wasn't going to be able to cut it in my Adidas skate shoes. But these are also Adidas, Adidas Terex hiking boots. It's waterproof, made with Gore-Tex. They are pretty awesome. Lightweight for how, for the size. They've also got Continental Tire soles, so it's supposed to make them extra grippy. I definitely noticed some of that grip hiking in Norway. So great investment, especially because they were on sale. So that more or less covers the big bag. Let's talk about some of this other little stuff I got here. Uh, I left this for this trip with a laptop and a ton of cords and my Kindle and chargers and a camera with multiple lenses and my electronics on the return are more or less just a tablet and this Panasonic FZ1000 that I'm filming myself on. Uh, this tablet came in super handy. Uh, it has a SD card slot here so what I was able to do is take pictures and videos on my camera pop the SD card in here and then I could upload them to the internet and to Facebook and keep things backed up so in terms of traveling light a tablet is really all you need to get even some basic photo and video done in case you're curious this is a journal I picked up in Barcelona uh, did have a moleskin journal I really like moleskins but that was in my bag that was taken and more or less I use this to plan out my trip, plan out my videos, my books, readings, um, yeah. So you can see I have different countries, the cost of my travel expenses, that kind of thing in here. So this is more a way for me to stay organized, to know what's coming up next. I really didn't plan out more than a month in advance for most of the trip, one month, and then I get to the end of the month and I get the next month planned out. So this is definitely helpful in knowing which destinations I was going to hit. You definitely want to bring something to write in if you want to keep maybe a diary or journal style or if you just want to plan your next move. So number one most used item on the whole trip. This is an REI microfiber towel and you have to get a microfiber towel. They're super light, dry really fast, they really don't get very smelly. Um, if they do you just throw it in the sink with some hand soap ring it out and it's like I said they dry super fast um, I think this is a larger in XL I'm a pretty big dude so I would get a size bigger if I could next time but I think an XL is going to be fine for most people alright this is a beach blanket I picked up in Barcelona 
It's like seven feet by eight feet, pretty big. I think it cost me 15 euros after haggling with the guy for a while. And uh, definitely got my money's worth for it. Uh, use it on the beach, I use it in parks when I was doing yoga, I use it at festivals, sitting on the grass. I actually, I used it as a bed sheet at one point in LA. So definitely get some kind of towel like this. It's pretty thin and dries pretty quick, so good investment. Uh, this tripod back here uh, is actually, I'm using it right now, but I got it off Amazon Basics for I think like $30, and it has held up remarkably well for the price. Uh, the only major issue it has is a little pin is coming out that helps keep the legs at the right width. So for 30 bucks, it got its use, and I'm really surprised getting thrown around in my bag that it <laughs> didn't get broken any worse. So last couple things we got in here. Uh, this is a camera bag I picked up in Genoa when I bought this Panasonic camera. And yeah, I'd bring this around with me longboarding so I didn't have to carry a full backpack or if I just wanted to travel a little wider and bring my camera. There you go. And finally we've got the day pack. So this is actually my third backpack of the trip. So that first one in Barcelona, the Osprey, walked off in a coffee shop. I picked up a really cheap Nike backpack to get by in Barcelona, but it wasn't very comfortable, it didn't hold very much stuff or have any pockets. This is a Haglufs Miro. Uh, this is made in Sweden. Definitely an upgrade from that cheap Nike. It's got chest strap, waist strap. Uh, really cool design, asymmetrical zipper. So it opens to the side a little bit. Holds a lot of stuff for the size, the small size of a backpack. So definitely check out Hagloof stuff if you need a new backpack. Might be a little pricey if you're trying to import it to the US though. And so I think that about wraps it up for my country updates and a quick unpacking. Got a few things coming in the future planned out uh, here in the next few weeks. I was able to get a new laptop so I can get a little more intensive photo video editing. And yeah, I've got a few videos planned for the future because I want to do whatever I can to help all you guys go travel the world because honestly it is not as difficult as you think it is. I, if all I had was my cell phone for the, my whole trip, I still could have done everything. I use this to plan my flights, my hostels, my buses, my trains, my trams, everything. Google Maps is how I got everywhere. And you use this for communication. Where literally, this is all you need for your journey. So my next up videos are gonna be our required apps and what you guys need to download for your phone, how you can find the cheapest flights, cheapest transportation from point A to point B, that kind of good stuff. I think we'll also do a little bit of gear reviews, a little more in-depth on some of these things like backpacks, maybe my camera, and yeah, that kind of stuff. So if you guys could do me a huge favor and I, uh, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, I will put the link in the video description. I've got all of my video logs uploaded now, and I also have about 70 days worth of Snapchats, everything from Barcelona to Rome, to Budapest, to Copenhagen, Oslo, and then back to New Orleans. So these video logs don't quite give you the feel of the countries because they're a little bit removed and maybe a few weeks after the fact. So the Snapchats, I think, are a really good way to get a feel of what each city was like. And I think some of them are pretty funny. So go check it out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll have more videos coming. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.